Analytics is a really big system and it can do lots of different things, but at the heart of the system is still an incredibly sophisticated fund selection tool. It was indeed the, the core reason why Analytics was built all those years ago. And a lot of the features you see today have really just been built around that over the last few years. But if I wanted to sift through funds or if I wanted to find specific funds that meet criteria, there are really powerful filtering tools and analytics that allow me to do that. Before we jump into filters, it's worth pointing out there are other ways of taking, say, sectors, cracking them open and having a look at them in more detail before you even get to the filter stage or indeed instead of a filter. So if I wanted to look at a sector, for example, click on the sector tab at the very top. I want to look at the global sector. So click on the sector, click on add, add that in. I want to look at every single fund within the global sector. So hit the second tick box and I want to throw that into a performance table. So table, performance table and generate. Now the table that loads up will give me a long list of 340 global funds. Now initially the order is going to be A to Z so I can resort the order by hitting that downward arrow and it provides me best to worst. And I can also add some quartile color coding at the top there so I can see first quartile is blue, second green, yellow third, red fourth. But the problem with this table is it's going to be incredibly long. There's a lot of data for me to sift through manually and that's the whole purpose of a filter. Now the process I've just used there is particularly useful for maybe a smaller sector, maybe a Japanese sector or a property sector where there aren't really that many funds to start with. But when you start looking at these large sectors or indeed when you want to combine sectors, you need a better mechanism for finding funds that specifically hit certain criteria and perimeters and that's where a filter comes in. So getting ourselves back to the main screen, to create a filter, select fund filters at the very top and click on new. The page that loads up works the same as pretty much every page in analytics, always left to right. You've got a number of criteria on the left hand side, some of which are admittedly minimized. So scroll down and click on those and more appear. And on the right hand side, it will show you how many funds have met the criteria you're setting. So if we follow the same example that I just used a second ago, I want to look for decent global funds. So go down to sectors, select global, add it across. Straight away goes down to 340. I want to, might want to make sure that those funds have achieved at least four crowns and above, click on add, reduces it down to 56, maybe quartile positioning, uh, might be interested in looking at fund size as well, um, let's just say it has to be 100 million under management, and you've even got things like platform availability, if you scroll right the way down to the bottom, all the major platforms and you can select those to ensure that the funds that end up on your table or whatever analysis you decide to go ahead with, you can be rest assured that those funds are available on the platform you're going to be submitting the business through. And if you are struggling to find specific filters, there are quite a few. At the very top here, you've got quick find. So I could very quickly find, for example, ethical funds by typing in ethical, it'll find the criteria for me, it'll expand it, highlight it, and again, I can add that across. Um, once you're finished, you've got two options. You can save it. So if you save the filter, I can come back in future days, weeks, and months, and I can use that again, piggyback off what I've done today, and it will dynamically update. We'll come on to that in a second. For this particular filter, if I click on show results, it will show me the 48 funds. And here they are, a long list again from A to Z of all of the funds that have hit the criteria I said a couple of seconds ago. I can very quickly flip all of those funds back onto my main screen by either hitting the individual green arrows on the left hand side or just hit the big one at the top and it does all of them en masse. What does that mean? Well, if I work my way back to my active list, if I close these screens down, there they are. There's my 48 funds that my filters found. What do I want to do with those funds? Because it's entirely up to me. On the right hand side, let's stick with the performance table and generate. And the table takes me back to where we were a couple of moments ago, but this time rather than looking at a very long list of funds, I've only got 48 because of that filter and I can start doing what I was doing earlier. So resort the order from best to worst over five years, color code the quartiles at the very top, and there's an extra feature on the right hand side, there are these little tick boxes. So if you find yourself splitting hairs as to which fund you're going to be selecting over another, you can click on these little boxes and it gives you the ability to very quickly flip those funds into a chart or into a fund comparison report. We will do another tip on building your own tables, but just whilst we're on the topic of tables and filter results, on the right hand side, another feature to consider is the custom table, the ability for you to dictate your own fields of data on that table, whereas before we were just looking at seven or eight different performance periods, I can create my own table and I can decide which columns appear on any table I produce. 
So I've already built some on here. So I'm going to select my fund research table. I'm going to run that against the list of 48 funds and click on generate. And now I have a table looking at the stuff I want to look at. I want to look at some performance. I want to look at some volatility, some fund size, some ratings. And so these are some of the platforms I use. So I've got a tick and across where those funds are available on those platforms and even a Finometrica defensive and growth percentage on the right. And again, nothing stopping me adding the quartile color coding, resorting the order and comparing those funds using those tick boxes on the right hand side. Now, lastly, what makes a filter dynamic is once you've saved it, that will automatically update every day. So coming back to this main screen on the left hand side under my fund filters, there will come a time when I won't need to keep on building brand new filters. If I open up the filter results, there are all of my filters. And you could set filters up specifically around risk profiles. So I might want to find multi-asset funds that hit specific criteria for a risk profile three fund, for example. And then you can also have filters for finding specific maybe ethical funds or single manager funds. There's no right or wrong to this, but again, if I've already got a global filter built into analytics, I can just simply hit add. That adds my global filter and it's telling analytics to run that filter again as of today. What do I want to do with the data? Let's go back to the tables tab and performance table where we started and click on generate. And that's essentially done two jobs in one. It's looking at this global filter I've built maybe 18 months ago. It's applying the same criteria as of today. And it's telling me as of today, there are four global funds that have met my criteria and this is how they've performed. So building filters can be a great way of streamlining fund selection processes, whether you're trying to find, again, multi-asset funds or single manager funds, it doesn't really matter. So I hope you found that useful. If you do need any help with analytics, you've got a live chat facility in the bottom right hand corner and equally over on the left tab over here, you've got a contact us button that will give you the email address and phone number for our help desk. You've got guides on analytics as well for every single feature on the system and the ability to schedule a training session with our training team.